Okay, Patrick, we ask you to pick two of the bottles and bottlings you think would pr uh, present your distillery the best. And you came up with two. Let's talk about the first one. Um, this is my personal favorite. I think this is the, my favorite product of the distillery. You should never ask a father which one of his children he loves best. But you know, if you don't tell anybody, this is the one I like best. We won't tell. <laughs> This is a, an unpeated single malt, so Millstone 12 year old uh, sherry cask, it's called. It's an unpeated single malt mm -hmm. aged in Oloroso sherry casks. I have to stress there's something special about your sherry cask we didn't talk about yet, and that is they are not uh, seasoned, they're real sherry casks, right? Yeah, I define real, but yeah, 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 these are sherry casks that have been used to make sherry that actually goes into bottles right so that means that they have held sherry for a long time so decades uh, 40 50 70 years of sherry inside the casks that means that the cask doesn't yield any wood flavors anymore and so no uh, flavors remain in the cask of the of the oak but it does have a lot of dark, deep, concentrated sherry flavors, mm -hmm. um, which are completely different from a seasoned cask. So you can maybe see, I don't know if you can see the color in I the video, it's, yeah. but it's a yeah. dark, deep color. Now, all our whiskies are, of course, you know, um, uncolored and unchill filtered. But mm. Let's talk about the taste a little bit where you pour it in the glass. And I think we can see the color here even better than in the bottle. Yes. So it's a, it's a deep natural color. And it's quite close when you first pour it. Um, but already I think you can immediately get that deep, rich uh, Oloroso uh, notes that you get from the cask. And they mix really well with the uh, with the notes from the, the whiskey itself. Mm -hmm. And in the taste, it's, 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 it doesn't have any deep wood derived flavors. Um, a lot of the flavors in there are from the whiskey itself. Mm -hmm. And even though it's really dark and you would expect what they call a sherry bomb flavor. Actually, the sherry flavors are quite um, mellow and, and integrated into the whiskies. Okay. That means that you still feel the distillate in, in this. Yes, whiskey. it's not completely overpowered. I think in our business, and I think that is essential for our distillery, we always try to make products that are balanced. So you have to balance the flavors of the whiskey itself against any flavors that you derive from the cask. Mm -hmm. You bottled it with uh, 30, uh, 43 or 46 percent? 46 percent. This is a 46 percent bottling. And you would call it easy drinking? Yeah, I think it's an easy drink. Uh, you know, I do a lot of tastings, of course, mm -hmm. like anybody in our business. And this is one of those things that, you know, you, you can pour for anybody and, 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 and most people, uh, everybody actually usually likes it. Perfect. Thank you.